Hello everyone, my name is Draconic Rose, welcome back to another episode of Rimworld. I think today it is time for us to start preparing this area. Now, as I said before, I was going to do some rough planning in between episodes, which I kinda did, and I think I know what I want to do. So first things first, we are going to remove all of this roof area. We are going to actually deconstruct that battery. It will have absolutely no effect for us. And once all that roof is done, we are going to purely and simply deconstruct all of this. Like, all of it. These traps as well. Of course, that will leave us a little bit unprotected for the time being, but that is a-okay. Uh, we will have our defenses rebuilt in no time, at least I hope so. Alright, I'm also going to remove these floors. There we go. That is pretty good. And then we are going to set up this spaceship again. So that we know where to finish things. Well, I guess I, I think we can close up this wall right away, but let's get these things out of the way first. Now, Kristen and others should get to it pretty fast. Where is Kristen? Uh, she is deconstructing, hauling to... Oh, okay. So the things we are deconstructing over there are becoming good enough to rebuild here. One problem we do have is that I did set up a bunch of slate chunks to be hauled, but I think most of them have been. Yeah, they have. What we have here, we have some slate. For some reason I have this set to be mined. Okay, I I don't know why. Uh, I mean, I am going to, you know, mine it, but not at the time being, or at least not starting there. Let's have this place being mined. We do need the, the slate. So yeah, while they do that, let's take a look, see if there is any other slate chunks. I don't think there will be. We can even come here. Select similar things on map, and we select the three. They're just the ones that are here on the screen. We'll select them to be hold. Alright, they'll take care of that. We have a roof collapse over here for some reason, even though I said the roofs should be removed there. Um, Oh, there, there was some here. That's fine. Uh, I think we can select show roofs. Uh, is it this one? This one. Okay, so no more roofs over here. That means we can dezone that because we will want uh, to reselect the area. Alright, while they do that, let's clean up the rest of the... Um, power conduits that uh, are left behind, because for some reason this doesn't grab all of them. It's kind of weird. But yeah, we will do that. And hopefully we'll get something back up before we get attacked. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's uh, let them deal with that and I'll be back when they're done. As far as I can tell, everything has been Deconstructed, then we get some mad turkeys. Uh, one of them here, but I think there might be others. Yeah, there's a three of them. And where are they? So are they all like in the same direction? Oh, there's one up there. I mean, that is fine. I suppose I'm going to need everyone to kind of make it out here. Uh, Blade, you are probably going to get... Yeah, you're going to get assaulted, so I want you to shoot that turkey. If you can, then move back. Yeah. Shoot the turkey. Oof. That's one strong turkey. Taking bullets. 
think blade is faster now, especially with the bionic leg. Yeah, he is faster. So, yeah, we can take care of them. Alright, uh, there's one left, so please come. Where is everyone? Come on. Come this way. Let's uh, kill uh, the angry turkey. I don't know what that was. Oh, it killed itself on the trap. Okay, fine. Uh, I'll, I'll take that. So, this area is done. We just need to clear it up a bit. I mean, this is not really that necessary, but we're going to do it anyway. So, let's grab what we have here. We have... Why is it always night when I try to do this? Um, please keep this turned on for me, please. We have the sensor cluster, which is something we want. We also want the engines, which you know is going to be the bottom. Uh, here's a structural beam. Where is the brain of it? I'm sure it has a brain. The computer hardcore thingy. Is it this? No, this is the reactor. Uh, Sith Pulsar, where is the darn top of it? Does it come over here? No. Well, fine. We'll use the sensor cluster as a top. And uh, actually, before we do that, I did say we were gonna do this. And I will have a door there. I'm going to have it here. Just so that people can get out. Let's cancel that. Let's... Uh, do we want to make it out of granite? I mean, it's slow to open, but it's probably also a good thing. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, we'll keep... We'll let that be there for the time being, anyway. It's probably a good thing to have if um, people are going to come out of there. In fact, in fact, let's go into the structure and make a steel auto door. That's just going to be our access inside the fridge from there. A little bit more protected in case things, uh, and by things I mean drop pods, fall in here, but not, you know, too not good for. Walking. Right. This one is uh, a lot more protective, I guess. I will replace that with a wall uh, because we don't want people coming in through there as attackers mostly. Let's put in a paved tile over here just to make the transition a little smoother looking. There we go. And I think that is good, so let's go grab our sensor cluster and install it over here. And I'm actually just going to put it like uh, one, one, two for the pods and another one for, you know, other things. So I suppose that if I measure here, I can say one, two more space and the wall can really come through here. And that, I think, is pretty perfect. Let's uh, get the wall going again. We'll rebuild it. There we go. Uh, we'll... Do we want to make it that? Or... No, let's make it a little longer. Let's take it all the way down here. So this door works as a way out there. We will cancel here because we're going to put another door there. And we will make it too thick as the other ones we are making. And there we are going to put a plasteel auto door. So that is going to be decently protective, decently fast. Oh, actually, if we're talking protective and fast, let me take a look. So Plasteel has a max hit points modifier, uh, uh, not modifier, a final value of 450 and it opens at 100% speed. If I use Uranium, of which we have a lot, we get 400 and it opens slower. Okay, so Plasteel is indeed 
the the best the best way to go. I thought uranium for some reason was lighter. Maybe that changed? I don't know. Alright, so we have our sensor cluster over there. We are going to grab the structural beam and put it down as well. And yes, I know I'm building this like piecemeal, but uh, it's a good thing just to know where things are going to be. Alright, let's put it in. Is someone going to put it in? That's what he said. Uh... <laughs> Roxy is going to put it in. There we go. Solar flare! I do not care about it. It's going to be gone soonish. So now we get to put in the reactor, which. Aha! Here's the issue. Well. Well. Right. Also an issue. Uh, remove the roof area. See what I meant about, you know, wanting to control the roofs? That's what I meant. We have a raid group. Oh dear lord. Um, That's not, not good. So as usual, let's restrict people inside. Let's restrict the animals to the barn. I want to toggle these turrets on. I want to put Kristen over here. Uh, Marcus, Sarah, Morgan, I want you down. Uh, back here. Roxy over there. And the rest of y'all just stand down here, please. Get into places, people. Garrett, you to prioritize flicking the switches. There we go. Let's hope everyone is in position in time. Where is Kristen? Over there. Where are the mechanoids? They're coming. Okay. Uh, the solar flare is not helping, but hopefully it will stop. Alright, ouch. Are they well spread out? I think they are. Alright, I am going to want everyone shooting at the same target whenever possible. Oh, those two are dead. Okay. They can now shoot at that one. That is done. Now the lancers are going to be harder. Let's see if I can't make everyone move back a little bit. And the split, could you... Oh, no, there's a telescope over there, isn't there? Uh, well, we can reinstall this telescope over here somewhere. Where it's more protected and out of the way. Ooh, the lancers, I think, can still get to blade. In which case, we're going to bring him inside. What are they attacking? Uh, attacking Sarah's scout, okay. Bring everyone inside. Now Kristen should be the next one to be able to hit them. She is. Uh, still not good enough. However, we can hold that open. And also bring Kristen inside. Just need them to get closer. It would be easier with the turrets, but that solar flare really got us going there. Alright. They're in place, so Kristen, you can go back to your spot. Uh, I think it's... no, no. Uh, Roxy and Morgan. Okay, so... Can't I... like, move you? I can! There we go. Uh, so now I can just select all of these and... Get y'all in the fight. Now these two didn't ever like start to uh, fight. There's uh, there's more mechanoids over here. They cleared up this area. That's fine uh, for certain definitions of fine. Let's see what they do now. They're probably going to do the same exact thing. So I just want to move them here. There we go. 
Now let's see then. One killed by that thing. The next one... Got another trap, but wasn't killed. So let's move people back into position and get it dead. I think that is all of them, but we can always check. Yep, that was all of them. So that was a good engagement. I don't think anyone got hurt and that's the best we can ask for. So let's unrestrict people so that they can go deal with the fire. I'll even help them by clearing their current um, activities. Let's get the animals. Uh, back. Are they? Need to clear them. So let's uh, clear a loud area, not inside. Yeah. Clear, 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 because I'm going to need all of that. I'm probably going to need this area as well. Uh, so we'll leave that and we will expand, not inside, to include uh, the, the, these bits. Bits and bobs over there. I think that works. Uh, da -da -da. Yeah, that that seems pretty cool to me. So they will rebuild this on their time. I, we have the resources. All right. So next we need the ship reactor, which is what I was putting in when they came on. So this is how we want to put it. There we go. That's fine. We are going to need room for the ship. Um, for the, 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 what are they called? The engines. Yes, we are, and we're not going to have that because there, we need three of them. So that would be one, two, three. Yeah, we're gonna have to move this to the side. Oh well. We will just deconstruct that. And cancel that. Let's start with one of the side engines. We are going to want it somewhere over here. And then the reactor. It's going to be like that way? Yeah, that, that sounds uh, decent. Kristen, can I interest you in deconstructing a wall? Hopefully. Will that be a problem because of the roof? Remove the roof. Please and thank you. I don't want that falling on anyone. Alright. So let's get that reactor again. There's going to be a lot of reactor stuff here. And then we can just move this to the side a little bit. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty ship. Well, not really, but it's going to be functional. That's all that really matters now, isn't it? Where is the third one? There it is. And we'll put it right here. Ugh. Can't even... Ugh, can't even center that. Rimworld, why? Ugh, it's going to kill me. Fine. Fine. We'll deal, we'll deal. Oh, so now you turn on the, the turrets. Okay, now those can be turned off. They are not necessary, so... Uh, not storage room. Crypto sleep casket. So we will... Okay, it has to be head toward the, the support beam. That's fine, we are going to stagger them first. And we're going to ignore that caravan request, so let's let's take a look though. When prosthetic arms and ooh, marine armor. If prosthetic arms didn't take so long to make, I would probably consider that. But since they do, I will not. Why can't I put it there? Oh, it's structural beam. Okay, that's. Fine. So that's another one over there. Uh, this one is not in place yet. So there we go. And there should be a few more. I think... Ah, no. The entry port is blocked as well. Uh, but we can put it 
higher up there. Okay, that's fine. And over here. Do we have any any other left? Doesn't look like it. I think it's the turrets now. Okay. So how many do we have? We have six, seven. So six, seven. So we need two more. Uh, in that case, let's just uh, reinstall that up there and make another one there. And, uh, you know what? I'm going to put two more just for symmetry's sake. Not that I expect us to get anyone else. Maybe we'll take a pet. That would be nice, I think. It's uh, actually gonna leave a decent amount of space now that I know where it is. Ah, this is strong dream world. It's not symmetrical. Why do you do this to me? Ugh. Let's keep this unroofed. And we can build roofs over here. Not sure if they'll help anything, but you know, it's not a thing. And we have an ambrosia sprout not too far away. That's always good. We will make a growing zone and this allows sewing. There we go. So this wall is getting done nice and fast. I forgot the door. That is good as well. And there we go. Plasteel auto door over there. That should be nice and decent. Why is Kristen? What? She just plonked the. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. Why should I? Alright. Next, we need our turrets. The uranium slug turrets. And it looks like we are going to mostly make our enemies come through there. Let's try and get them with overwhelming force. And just rows and rows of slug turrets. That will be nice, won't it? I don't know if it'll, uh, it'll be something. Let's put those there. There. Those aren't slut turrets, but they're, they'll be useful as well. Okay. I think that is all the turrets, seems to be. We can take this fire foam popper, I think, and put it like somewhere over here. Yeah, I think that works. And we will, of course, do some sandbags because why not? Gotta protect the things. So we'll leave. Uh, actually, we'll leave everything uh, there. We will also now put in a power switch. The power switch over here. Uh, power conduit uh, over there. That's fine, as long as we can connect the turrets to it. It would be better if it was inside, but uh, we can do that. Toxic fallout, we'll have to keep an eye on things. Get the animals in the barn. Okay, let's turn that off. So that we can test and do the reconnects. That is good. Uh, these two didn't. Why? What are you connected to? Oh, over there. And you can connect over here because the power conduit doesn't get close enough. That's fine. We will make sure it does. And hopefully that will be enough. I mean, not that there is much of a problem if they were connected to there, because that reactor is one heck of a beast. In fact, it's enough of a beast that I do want to connect it to the base. 
Okay. Refugee uh, request. We are not taking it. Uh, but we do have an infestation to deal with. So let's get everyone inside. Kristen, you know your fate. Roxy and Morgan, you also know yours. Let's hope everyone gets inside in time. Oh dear. Okay, that's too much, Kristen, please. Oof. Alright. We can... Kristen, please move back. Ugh. You are not going to get... Okay, so... Hmm. I need y'all to cluster. As close by as possible. And... More friendly. I think you're better off friendly firing than... Oh, I forgot that over. Was it? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's get everyone over here. Uh, except for Kristen, who can go get healed. And Sarah. And sorry if you can hear my cat is being very, very whiny. So let's take a look. Enemies, we do not have any. Good, perfect. I am good with this. Now, Morgan, you do go. Rest and sleep. Oof. Alright, bugs. Bugs continue to be... not good. Uh, but at least they didn't destroy all of that. Did, did they have any hives? No, they just came because we dug too deep. That's fine by me. Alright, so I think perhaps with the help of some late spike traps that we will be ready to turn our ship on so let's give that a, a try let's make sure the corners here are decently trapped and here as well we don't want things and Don't want things getting too close to easy. Disease infection and it's a divent. Uh going to need that repairs harpish. So let's get that done. Kristen has an infection for some reason. Uh Garrett, you're supposed to heal. And we have cargo pods, which have smoke leaf joints. Mm, take it. Not exactly the best thing, but fine. Who has toxic buildup? So Blade has minor toxic buildup. That's fine. Uh, for now, it's fine. We will take a look later. And um, psychic drone for the females. Marriage is on. Garrett and Eric. Wonder how long that marriage will last. Uh, that, that'll be something for us to discover. But for now, let's get the ship powered up. The reactor is ready to power up. The process will take about 15 days and the energy signature will be detectable from a long distance away. This sort of energy signature indicates interstellar flight capability and will attract gangs of desperate raiders and swarms of deadly mechanoids. You will be assaulted with an intensity you've never seen. Make sure your defenses are prepared first. So with that we are on the last legs of uh, this journey and on the last minutes of the episode. So. Between this one and next, I am going to set up a few orders to get everyone uh, at least a flag jacket and black vest. More if I can. I'm not sure how well we can have, you know, marine armor. But we will try and be prepared for that. We will also next episode start giving people better eyes again. 
But until next time, I hope you enjoyed the episodes. Check out the Patreon if you'd like to support the channel. And until next time, remember, here, there be dragons. Thank you so much to my patrons for making this channel possible. Click the Patreon logo to become one of these fine folk. And if you enjoyed the video, here are some more YouTube things you would like. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Have a lovely day, and I'll see you next time.